Hello little dreamers. As the curtain of twilight falls, our magical journey is about to unfold. Let's begin by taking a big, deep breath together. And then letting the breath out slowly. Tonight, we are going to explore the magical world of Zelda and the Good Witch with their loving friend, Serafina. But before we begin our story tonight, let's make sure we're nice, cozy and warm in bed. Puff up the pillow beneath you and pull the covers over so that you're snugly and warm, safe and protected in bed. Let's turn down the lights and feel our bodies become heavy and relaxed. As we begin this adventure together, Zelda and the Good Witch, Part 2, The Curious Cottage. After waking up, in the soft morning light of the enchanted forest. It was now time for Serafina the Good Witch to take Zelda home with her at her cosy cottage some distance away. Zelda began to feel so safe and happy that she had met Serafina after being so lost in the woods. She was even happier when they finally reached Serafina's cottage. Nestled in the woods in a secret place where only special people could find it. There was a pathway dotted with magical stones and crystals leading to Serafina's front door. They sparkled in the moonlight, beckoning us to follow. Zelda was a very curious cat. After all, that's how she had gotten lost in the forest in the first place. And so seeing the doorway magically open for the good witch and Zelda, she couldn't help but scamper forward through the rustling of the fallen leaves Her paws gently tapping on the crystal gemstone walkway that led to the cottage. Inside the cottage, Serafina flicked her wrist. And with that little, little show of magic, the fireplace came to life, immediately warming the small cottage as little candles 
gently lit around the room so that Zelda could see her new home even more clearly. Now let's be curious just like Zelda and explore this magical home with our minds and hearts open. Embracing the wonders that curiosity can bring because curiosity, dear dreamers, can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. Full of wonder at her magical surroundings, Zelda moved around the cottage, discovering the countless magical objects around her. Shelves littered with twinkling and sparkling potions. Ancient books filled with magical spells. A table full of crystals that sparkled in the candlelight. And a little kitchen filled with mysterious and delightful smells. Just as Zelda's curiosity helps her discover the magic in Serafina's home, your curiosity helps you learn about the world around you. Serafina sat in the corner of the cottage, a soft blanket on her lap as she allowed Zelda to look around their new home. Zelda herself had found a cosy nook by the window that overlooked the enchanted forest where she and Serafina had first met. In the distance, she could see the twinkling stars in the sky. The moon glowing down through the window and shining on her beautiful green eyes. As she turned back to look at the rest of the cottage, Zelda couldn't help but notice a broomstick sitting in the corner of the room. She immediately felt so excited as she wondered what it might be like to fly sitting on the back of a broomstick with Serafina the Good Witch keeping her safe. But that was an adventure for another day. And after spending the whole day walking through the forest, until they finally reached the cottage, Zelda felt so tired. She could see Serafina yawning into her hand in the corner of the room in her soft chair. And Zelda couldn't help but feel sleepy too. As she noticed Serafina close her eyes 
and drift off into dreamland. Zelda thought it was past her bedtime too. Making her way across the creaky wooden floors, Zelda walked over to the fireplace where the magical fire was burning. Beneath the fireplace, there was a soft, soft rug, just begging to be slept on. Zelda curled up on the rug, taking a nice deep breath. And sighing it out. (sighs) She carried on looking around the room. Because even though she felt tired in her little body. Her mind still felt quite restless. Above her. She could smell lavender drying, hanging from a rack on the ceiling. Its beautiful floral scent made her feel even more sleepy. She then began to notice the good witch's magic starting to put the cottage to bed as one by one every candle in the room started to snuff out. Zelda watched as it gradually became darker and darker and as she did she noticed that her curious and inquisitive mind became quieter and quieter until eventually the only light in the room was coming from the softly glowing embers of the fireplace. And after such a busy day of excitement and exploring, Zelda allowed her mind to become peaceful and quiet, knowing that she would have plenty of time tomorrow to continue her adventures and her exploring of her new home. Just like Zelda, little dreamers, you can allow your mind to become quiet and still, knowing that anything you're excited about or curious about exploring can wait until tomorrow, when the moon has gone to bed and the sun rises in the morning. So, allow yourself to drift off to sleep with Zelda. Allowing your dreams to take you to some amazing places filled with adventure magic, love and endless curiosity. As we close the door on the good witch's cottage with a soft click We leave the enchanted forest and will return soon 
with another adventure and sleep story with Zelda and the Good Witch. But in the meantime, sweet dreams, night night.